Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna learn how to measure to the nearest 1 16th of an inch. Okay, so if you look at this inch on the paper, you'll notice that there are 16 sections for this inch. And that is because we are measuring to the nearest 1 16th. If we were measuring to the nearest eighth of an inch, there would be eight sections for this inch. And if we were measuring to the nearest 32nd of an inch, there would be 32 spaces for this inch. But for this lesson, we're gonna be measuring down to the nearest 1 16th of an inch. So what we have here is 16 possible sections. So there are two rules that we are gonna follow when measuring. And if you follow these two rules, you can measure to any increment you want to. The same rules will apply. And there are two very simple rules. Rule number one, rule number one says that the answer must be odd over even. So you want to make sure you write those down. And then rule number two says to divide by two. So if you know the difference between odd and even numbers, and you can divide numbers by two, you can measure. Okay, so let's start here at zero. The first increment that we want to measure to, and we are counting spaces here, not lines, because a distance accounts for a measurement from point A to point B. We're not counting lines. So this distance from zero to the first increment here, that is one section out of a possible how many? 16. Now we need to ask ourselves, is that answer odd over even? Yes, it is. So that answer is final. It is 1 16th of an inch because it's odd over even. Let's go to the next one. If I go from 0 to this increment, 1, 2 out of a possible 16. So I'm going to write that down. 2 over 16. Is that odd over even? No, it isn't. So I'm going to divide the top numerator and the bottom denominator by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 16 eight times. Is that odd over even? Yes, it is. So the answer here is 1 eighth of an inch. Now let's go to the next one. How many sections have I counted now? One, two, three, out of a possible 16. So I'm going to write that down. Three out of a possible 16. Is that odd over even? Yes, it is. So that's my final answer. Three sixteenths of an inch. It's the same two rules and you continue to apply them until your answer is odd over even. Let's go to the next one. How many sections have I counted now? One, two, three, four. Four out of a possible 16. Is that odd over even? No, it isn't. So I'm going to divide by two. Two goes into four, two times. Two goes into 16, eight times. Is that odd over even? No, it isn't. Let's do it one more time. Two goes into two once, two goes into eight, four times. That's one fourth of an inch. Let's 
go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five. That's five sections out of a possible 16. Is five over 16 odd over even? Yes, it is. So my final answer here is five sixteenths of an inch. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sections out of a possible 16. That's not odd over even, so I'm going to see rule number two and divide them by two. Two goes into six, three. Two goes into 16, eight. It is now odd over even. My answer here is three eighths of an inch. The next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sections out of a possible 16 is already odd over even, so that's my final answer. Seven sixteenths of an inch. And the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sections out of 16. That's not odd over even, so I'm gonna see rule two and divide them by two. Two goes into eight four times. Two goes into 16 eight times. Still not odd over even. Two goes into four two times. Two goes into eight four times. I need to do it one more time. Two goes into two once and two goes into four two times. That's why this measurement is one half of an inch. Let's continue. The next one brings me to eight nine sixteenths of an inch. Nine sixteenths of an inch is already odd over even. So my answer is nine sixteenths of an inch. The next one brings me to 10 sixteenths. So let's write that down, 10 sixteenths. It's not odd over even, so I'm gonna see rule two and divide them by two. Two goes into 10 five times, two goes into 16 eight times. It's odd over even, so the answer here is five eighths of an inch. The next one, I have 11 sections out of a possible 16. So therefore my answer is final and it is 11 sixteenths of an inch. Let's go to the next one and that gives me 12 sections. So 12 sections out of a possible 16. Two goes into 12 six times, two goes into 16 eight times. Let's do it again. Two goes into six three times, two goes into eight four times. Now it's odd over even, and my answer here is three fourths of an inch. Let's go to the next one. 12 13 sixteenths. 13 over 16 is odd over even. Therefore, that's my final answer. 13 sixteenths of an inch. Let's go to the next one. That gives me 14 sections out of a possible 16. Two goes into 14 seven times, two goes into 16 eight times. That's odd over even. That's my final answer. Seven eighths of an inch. The next one brings me to 15 sections out of a possible 16 odd over even, so that's my final answer. 15 over 16, or 15 sixteenths of an inch. The last one is 16 sections out of a possible 16. Now, anytime a number is over itself, it is equal to a whole, or one, which is why this here is one inch. 
So that is measuring to the nearest 1 16th of an inch. The only other thing to keep in mind is don't forget about the whole numbers that you measure before you get to the increments. So if you'd measure five whole inches before this mark here, your measurement would read five and three sixteenths of an inch. So keep that in mind and don't forget your whole numbers. Keep practicing because practice makes perfect.